Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. We're in the thick of July, the 20th of the month, and I pray that your summer is going well. I want to encourage you today to remind you that at all times, God is with you. That there's no circumstance that it may be, may have befallen you that God is not aware of, keen on, and working on in your life. You know, we may have to go through things in this Christian life. We really will have to go through some stuff. It's a broken, fallen world yet to be redeemed. So that means that we're going to get sick. And that means that we'll get injured sometimes. And that means that brokenness and heartache and pain will be a part of our experience. So the promise of Christianity is not that I won't go through anything. Rather, the promise of Christianity is that when I, whatever I go through, God will be with me. In Daniel chapter 3, uh, verse uh, 25 This is the story of those three Hebrew boys who were thrust into the fiery furnace. And the Bible says, he answered and said, but I see four men unbound walking in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt. And the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods. This is that famous story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who for their faith in God were thrown into the fiery furnace. They took a stand for God and God took a stand for them. And the Bible says that even though they had just thrown three boys in, Nebuchadnezzar looks over in the furnace and can see not three, but four. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. And of course, we know that to be the pre-incarnate God of heaven, Jesus Christ himself, who because these men took a stand for God, God took a stand for them and they came out unscathed by the fire. Some of you are in the fire right now, but God knows you and God sees you and he's with you in the fire. And I pray that you'll come out as pure gold as these three Hebrew boys came out because God is with you. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.